how to convert a file from Unix to, uh, to Windows or Windows to Unix. Uh, the most useful one is from Windows to Unix, of course, because when you receive a file from Windows, it always contains Control M at the end. And uh, you can view the file like that with the option cat-v that will show you all non-printable characters. And you print like that and you see the control M at the end of the line. Because if you do, do just cat test.txt, there's no control M. Another way to show it is VI. You VI the file and you can see all the control M. Okay, now the way to remove the control M so that there's no bug or else everything will will bug in your script because of that. Um, the way to remove it, there's many ways. I'll show you three of them. One is very easy if the application is installed on your system. It's dust to Unix. So you do dust to Unix, the name of the file, and that's it. And then you do cat-v, the name of the file, verify that it's removed and you see there's no control M anymore and just for the purpose I'll put it back so that's the way to put it into DOS from Unix if it's ever necessary and I can verify it again and you can see it returned the the reason why you will try use another method than dust to Unix because it's very easy with that. It's because it's not always installed, especially if you work in the industry. Uh, most server does not have that application on it. It's more on Linux, and it seems that a Unix administrator does not install that package in the industry. So another way to do it that's for sure it's there everywhere, it's with TR. We'll do TR-D for delete. And uh, you will do a control M, but for control M you don't do shift six like that. You won't do that, it, it won't work. What you need to do is control V then control M and it will show you a real control M. And then you will click like that and you input the file. So test.txt and you output it to another file, test2.txt. Like that, if I do cat-v test.txt still has the control M but if I say cat-v test2.txt I got a version of the file with no control M at the end and then all I have to do is move test2.txt into test1.txt do it sorry but I, I will do the, the command like that, test2.txt into test.txt, just to show you. The other way is to do tr-d for delete and backslash r. And that's it. And the rest is the same. It's test that txt as input and test 2 and just to be 
confirm that we'll put test 3 just to verify that it's really working and it's not the result of the last time so we do cat-v test3.txt and we can see that there's no control m anymore and it's the same thing we we have to do a move file 2 into file so test3.txt into text.txt like you see the, the easiest version is thus to unix if you have it installed on your system then bravo you can use that and that's it